Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be installing my EAF onto my Willing Optic Zenna Star 81 today. Um, I did go through rejigging my kit a couple of days ago, but then I thought, do you know what? I paid for it. I might as well use it. So I broke it all down. I'm going to put it back on um, in a second once I've mounted the EAF. So um, the first thing we've got to do, in fact, the first, first tip I can give you is to switch your tube 90 degrees. So this is at the top and you're sitting it on the bar. It'll make things a lot easier to work on, I should imagine. Certainly that's what I'm thinking. Um, first thing I've got to do is undo these um, Allen keys here. Big as belief, I've picked up the wrong Allen key. There you go, so this Allen key goes in. Let's undo that. It shouldn't be done up any more than a nip. So, yeah, that's nice and gentle. There's another one around here. So I'm going to take that out. Pick that up, hopefully. There we go. So this one can un be undone as well. That a little nip. It should pull straight off. So I'm going to put this aside. Unfortunately, it's a temperature gauge, but, you know, I think a focuser will be um, nicer than that. You do lose the functionality. Fun <coughs> you do lose the functionality of the um, dual speed, but what can you do? Never mind. So we've got this mounting thing that goes on there. I'll take the pin out, the locking pin. Again, this can be put aside. I'm going to put it in my EAF box. Um, so I think that'd be quite a good place to get it because I'm good at losing stuff. Right, so you get a selection of screws, which I've already got out. Um, there's also a selection of these things. I'll get them all out and show you. And I'll be back in a second. So what we have here is um, four flexible couplings. The flexible couplings range in size from 4mm, 5mm, 6mm and 7mm. Um, the 6mm is the one that we want for this spigot. So I'm going to offer that up in the next shot. And also, all of the 5 mils they fit onto the, the end of this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is offer this flexible coupling up. Grab that, make sure it's in the right orientation. There's a flat there. I don't know if it's picking up all right. I'll um, line up the Allen, the grub screw, push it all the way in and back it off a little bit, just so there's a bit of a gap to avoid any binding up or anything. Right, so that's, that's on the flat. I'm gonna turn that around. There's another one there. Do that up as well. Just a little nip. And a nip on there as well. All it takes is a tiny little bit. Make sure it's secure, which it is. Now we've got to locate that onto an Allen key, and hopefully that's going to rotate up. That's it. You can feel it locate on the flat, just push it in and then back it off a little bit. I'll just move it around so you can see, hopefully. So push it in, that's it. Snip that. So we can tighten this one up as well. Back it off, tighten it up. And that feels pretty solid to me. We should be all right like that. Right, next up, and pop this on. And mount up like that. Probably need to take out a couple of 
grub screws. I'll also switch the, switch the shot around so you can see what's going on. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to remove this here. I'll pop a screw in there later on and put this aside with the rest of the stuff so we don't um so we don't lose it and put out my tray for the minute so you better check the screw fits it because otherwise that wouldn't be very good I'm guessing it's one of these yeah that's good All right, so now I'm going to offer this up with a couple of Allen bolts with a washer on. There we go, so that's got that in. I'll get the other one, offer that up. Oh, deep joy. Never mind, got it back. Not enough of this guy up. There we go. That's that in. I'll only leave them loose for the minute because I want to. Um, Obviously I've got to install this part as well to keep it secure, so I'll widen the shot a bit. There we go. All in real time. Warts and all. So that one can go in there. That was where we got the locking screw from. Ooh, might need the right Allen key. There we go. Is that a screw in there? And secure that. We've got another one to pop in here. Again, I pick up and try and get the thing in the middle, but that's just me. Anyone, I think I've been trained to do it. You wouldn't think so by this video though, hey? <laughs> All right, so they're nice and secure. Now we can go back to these ones and take up any play. Again, just finishing it off with a little nip to make sure There's no chance of stripping the threads or over tightening. Again, that little nip, and that one a little nip. And that's the EAF installed. Um, I'll plonk the rest of the kit on and I'll hopefully show you how it works in the garden. I'm going to figure out this backlash thing as well, I think. But that's for another day. Right, see you in a minute. Thanks for watching. This is Ryan from Astro Q.